In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Wikipedia to jumpstart your own research online. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Wikipedia, it's an online encyclopedia that is user-generated. That is, anyone can add or edit an article or start a new article. So, it's grown exponentially. There's a huge amount of information, but not all of it is vetted correctly or even in the same manner. So I'm going to actually do some test searches and show you how to approach Wikipedia effectively for your own research. Now, I'm looking at writing a paper in politics and the Panhellenic Games, and I just want to do some quick research and fact-finding online before I begin my research properly. Uh, so this general article here on the Panhellenic Games in Wikipedia is is very general in fact it's too general it just gives you the names of the games and some points of comparison so already I'm just skimming by this page and I'm gonna click on the Olympic Games and here there's an article on the ancient Olympic Games it's much more detailed uh, origin history Olympic truce events so one of the th first thing I like to do when I get to a new article is I like to look at the notes and you can see here the people that have compiled this article have referenced other online encyclopedias, web pages, a few primary sources, and a couple of articles. So it's a very mixed bag of references. It's not the best or most thorough research I've ever done. But again, I'm more interested in the information on this page. So it's just starting off with the origin of the games, clicking on that. The first paragraph deals with the common mythological origins for the Olympic Games. But the second paragraph tells of this pseudo-historical account of King Ephitus of the Elis uh, <clears throat> resurrecting the games to avert a war with Sparta in the Peloponnese. So that's a really interesting legend, and it gives a political origin to the myths, which could be important for my paper. So I'm going to click on King Ephitus of Elis. And here I just come to a disambiguation article uh, and the Aphitus of Elis that I'm interested in, there is no specific article on him. So I'm going to have to go even further afield and look at a Google search. So clicking here, Aphitus, oh, Aphitus and Elis. There's a bunch of general articles but here there's a reference to Pausanias and thanks to the Google book search I can even view a section of Pausanias the famous uh, second century AD travel writer so he's uh, writing in the Roman period about things in Greece and telling the story of the foundation of the Olympic Games from Aphitus's perspective so the Wikipedia article has led me to find this primary source which could be of use to my paper. But going back to the article itself, uh, there was no reference for this. There was no reference, which is why I had to look beyond uh, Wikipedia already. Now, I might also want to look at Sparta, since clearly Sparta and Olympia have an important relationship as well. Now, of course, the Sparta article is going to be very detailed. It should be. They were a very important part of Greek history, clearly. Again, looking at the notes for the article, this one is incredible. They've got references to important, mod uh, important scholars like Cartledge, uh, Herodotus, the, uh, and Plutarch, the ancient writers. All sorts of wonderful references here. Uh, so this is a very thoroughly researched article. There'll be lots of good starting points for me. And they've even also put a bibliography here as well so, to find further things. Now going back to the top of the article, uh, I get sidetracked sometimes in research and I'm interested in helots. helots. And one of the sources I see here that they reference is Myron of Priene. I've never heard of Myron of Priene. Apparently he's a third century BC writer. So there's a, a footnote here, so I'm gonna hyperlink down to it. Talbert, page 26. All right, so I go down to my reference section and I don't see a, a Talbert. It goes from Plutarch to Thompson. So I'm gonna use the find feature in my web browser, Control F in Windows or Command F in a Mac. So there are two matches for that Talbert. 
So there's the footnote, and oh, I see. The person is incorrectly footnoted Plutarch's on Sparta. So again, another primary source uh, that's going to lead me to more information on helots. But I digress. I'm off topic here. I'm supposed to be researching politics in the Panhellenic Games. So I'm going to go back and back and back and back and back to my original Panhellenic Games article. So let's look at the Nemean Games. Nemean Games, not as important as the Olympic Games, but there were political things that happened here. And in this paragraph here, we learn that Philip V of Macedon was there in 208 BC. And then apparently Quinctius Flamininus was there uh, to declare the freedom of the Greeks in, uh, you know, in 196 BC. Now, that raises a red flag for me because I remember from lecture that this actually happened at the Ismian Games. So, and not only that, this person has misspelled uh, Quinctius Flamininus. So I'm going to hyperlink there. They, I mean, they footnoted something, but right off bat, I'm going to go right to Quinctius Flamininus article. And here, looking here, in 196 BC, he did it at the Ismian Games. The person who wrote this article hasn't provided a footnote like the last one, but the information is different. So again, I'm going to click on Ismian Games. All right, I see the same line there, but someone has now provided a footnote for it, so 15. And uh, they reference Polybius, and they even quote a comparative account by Apian. And these people have even hyperlinked to a translation of Polybius, so I don't even have to depend on them. I can look right at an online translation of Polybius that records this uh, political event. So this has been incredibly useful for tracking down primary sources for my paper. But if we think back to the article on Nemia, they did provide a footnote. They did provide a footnote, footnote 12 here. Now, so you can see here it's not formatted the same as the other one. They haven't provided hyperlinks for us, but I've already done a separate search. Now, they say that Polybius and Livy will tell us that it was the Nemean Games where this declaration happened. And we already looked at Polybius elsewhere in Polybius. It was the Ismian Games. So if I hyperlink, uh, or sorry, if I go to my Polybius account, uh, Polybius Book 10, 26, <clears throat> This is about Philip V in 208 BC. It's an incorrect footnote. The footnote does not lead to the information they said it would in the article. All right, that's one problem. What about Livy? Livy, book 34, 41. Looking at that, it actually does say, it does say that uh, Flamininus did declare the liberty of the Greeks at the Nemean Games in 196 BC. So this leads us to a big in problem in interpretation uh, because Polybius would, lived in the early 2nd century BC and uh, so was contemporary with the event and Livy is writing in Augustan Rome 200 years later practically. So if I had to prefer one of the two sources I would definitely prefer Polybius and say that Livy just got his facts wrong. But that leads us back to how we use Wikipedia, because clearly there's some incorrect information like this Polybius footnote, uh, and there's poorly interpreted information like this Livy footnote, which although n factually not incorrect, it's, it's correct uh, information, its interpretation is wrong. If this person had looked at any secondary author, some modern research, they would have known that Livy had incorrect information in his passage. So I, that's been my quick introduction to Wikipedia. I hope you can see how useful it is for finding quick facts, information, um, new sources, uh, primary sources, lots and lots of good things in Wikipedia. But again, never cite a Wikipedia article in your uh, in your essay because ultimately your own essay is going to be a more thorough piece of research than anything in Wikipedia. So use Wikipedia as a starting point uh, and happy researching.